Hi everyone and welcome to Pound Zero. I'm Amelia and this is my weight loss journey. Of course, first thing I need to say right off the bat is Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there in YouTube land. It is Mother's Day here in Australia and I believe in the US as well, UK, you've already had yours, but uh, Happy Mother's Day to you anyway. It is Sunday, so it is weigh-in day. I know it's one thing you all look forward to. So once I've finished with the scales today, I'm going to do a quick snapshot of healthy desserts that you can consider when trying to celebrate something special such as Mother's Day. So with no further ado, let's get on the scales. So I am all glammed up because I did actually go to lunch with my mother today at a wonderful Italian restaurant which for the large part would have maintained within my 300 calorie um, limit that I give myself for each meal including snacks if it wasn't for the cannoli dessert with fairy floss. It was wonderful. It was amazing. If you're ever in Canberra I can recommend Agostini's for a special occasion or just to go out for dinner. It's absolutely divine. Absolutely divine. So in terms of my week this week, I was... It was a tough week. I, I had no motivation whatsoever. I ate out a few times. Um, there were a few staff lunches slash breakfasts at work, which was pleasant very pleasant indeed but of course with such breakfast you can't really gauge um, what the calorie intake is going to be and what we ended up with although I highly recommend the restaurant uh, what we ended up with was a spread of just about everything on the menu um, every way to cook an egg bacon mushrooms spinach, hash browns. It was divine and it was actually a lot of fun to get out with with work people. I mean we spend so much time with our work people we might as well try and enjoy parts of it right? There were a couple of lunches out of the office for various reasons which also meant that I wasn't doing any lunchtime exercise either um, which I haven't done a lot of recently and I really need to get back into uh, getting up in the middle of the day and actually just going for that walk although it is getting colder so it's getting harder to find that motivation but if I can get up at 5 30 in the morning to go to breakfast I can get up at 5 30 in the morning to go for a walk or a jog or whatever that seems to be that day or even just doing push-ups in front of the heater you can do push-ups in front of the heater seriously Ugh. So my diet this week wasn't that great. My exercise was less so. Um, that said, I, I did try to be conscientious, although I wasn't always successful in it. It was a very unmotivated week, to be completely honest. And I think as a result, my results for weight loss this week are actually quite telling. So when I started my weight loss journey at the beginning of the year, I weighed in at 120 kilos, or 264.5 pounds. Last week when I weighed in, I came in at 110.5 kilos, or 243.6 pounds. 
And this week, after not eating as well as I could have and doing absolutely no exercise at all, I have weighed in at 110.5 kilos or 243.6 pounds. So this week, that is a grand weight loss of zero kilos or if I'm going to translate it, zero pounds. Nothing. Nada. So overall, this year means I have lost 9.5 kilos or 20.9 pounds. Now, if I was strictly adhering to a proper diet and proper exercise regime, I would expect that number to be quite higher, particularly since we are at week 18 now. I'm kind of uh, at about 50%, I guess, at this point. Um, it could be better, and I guess over winter, I, I don't have as many excuses as every everything and everybody goes into hibernation, so I really have no excuse but to go to the gym. And so I shall. I'm not overly disappointed with that result, considering I didn't eat that great this week. Um, I'm not overly disappointed with that result. If you take into account that I did absolutely no exercise and my diet wasn't as great as it could have been, what this actually tells me is that I'm actually not doing too badly diet-wise. For the most part, it could be better, obviously, otherwise the weight would actually be coming off. But when I'm only half-heartedly keeping an eye on what I'm eating, I'm actually managing to maintain my weight rather than go back up, which is my biggest risk, I suppose, and one that I really am desperate to avoid at all costs. So what am I going to do about it? Well, Ultimately, I'm going to start filming myself exercise. I thought maybe what I could do for my midweek videos, um, aside from just food and things that are in the news and just talk about absolute rubbish, is actually start filming and talking my way through the, the exercise regimes that I do actually go through, which would provide me with a bit more motivation to actually get up and do them. Um, come with me on my walks, lunchtime walks, evening walks, jogs, park run, whatever. Having you guys come with me, I guess in a sense, as I film it on my little phone or, or whatever I have at the time on the GoPro. Knowing that someone's going to be watching this video every week motivates me beyond anything just because I don't want to get up here and say that I've done the wrong thing or, you know, getting fatter. Which, which surprisingly enough, um, even though my weight isn't coming down as much as I'd like, I do have this lovely outfit of which I've already taken the skirt off so I'm not going to show you the bottom half. But I only bought it a few months ago, well it's over six months ago really, since before I started this vlog. But when I bought it, it was quite tight and I bought it for the Spring Race Festival Melbourne Cup Day. I bought it for Melbourne Cup Day essentially in the office and even though I didn't do anything special for the day, I felt pretty in the office. It was it was quite nice. But when I bought it, it was quite tight. Uh, today I wore the same outfit, the exact same outfit to the Mother's Day lunch and I'm wrapping my skirt up around my waist a little bit to stop it from falling down and I'm constantly having to pull my shirt down because it's so loose and movable it actually just kept creeping up and of course I'm wearing proper underwear now too from when I bought it so it's all different <laughs> it's all the same outfit completely different but thoroughly enjoying it um it, it I have spent a bit of money on clothes so things like this which is quite nice and I, I do enjoy pretty things from time to time I'm going to take them down to the tailor and actually have them taken in rather than just um, residing them to the back of the wardrobe because I want to wear them more. I still want to wear them more. I will wear them more. It's worth being pretty. Absolutely. Um, that said, I think I do have another Bella box on the way. I thought I'd cancelled it, but I got an email saying that I'd paid for it. So <laughs> look forward to that. So just to finish off today, I am going to talk about a few desserts that are a little bit cheeky and probably shouldn't be consumed on a regular basis, 
but you could get away with when you are on a strict diet and trying to lose weight when you do need to have something just a little bit special. So this has come from a website called Pop Sugar. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people are aware of it. And the page is just Healthy Mother's Day Desserts. A link is down in the description below. And of course we do want to try and stay on the healthier side of things but still have an enjoyable day. So the first thing you can think about when enjoying Mother's Day or trying to celebrate of course is chocolate covered strawberries. Who doesn't like a good chocolate covered strawberry? Uh, it's the last minute dessert that everyone does enjoy. Melt a bit of chocolate, dip in the strawberry, let it set, bam, you're done. And of course you're getting a good uh, dose of antioxidant packed fruit while feeling a little decadent at the same time. Another dessert you can try and of course at the website if you flick through them it comes with all the recipes to actually make this if you need a little bit of assistance. Something else you can try for a dessert is the raw carrot cake cookies. I do enjoy a good carrot cake myself and I do like the zesty lime against it. Um, the carrot cake cookie recipe that is in this website is raw, vegan, and gluten-free. For people who have concerns with those particular aspects of their diet, there is always something for you. Always. And I suppose we do need to thank people who jumped on the gluten-free bandwagon, really, um, even though they weren't strictly gluten-free. Um, they've just made it so much more popular that, that this kind of food is more readily available. Um, I myself don't eat a lot of gluten. I'm not gluten intolerant or anything. I just, I, I, I do try to eat cleaner than most, I guess. So what else can we try on Mother's Day or just decadent healthy dessert? A decadent healthy dessert. It's the biggest oxymoron on the planet. Uh, baked donuts. I'm gonna try this one myself. So instead of buying the fried donuts, which of course are, are uh, cooked in oil. The recipe here is a gluten-free chocolate donut topped off with dairy-free berry frosting in a pretty pink hue. Of course, pink is, is a girl's name, which only came around in the 50s, I believe. It was the baby boomers thing. The blue pink to decipher between boys and girls that wasn't a thing really before that. It's like there's a little piece of history for you. Next on the list, we have agave kissed strawberry muffins. Doesn't that sound delicious? No better way to celebrate strawberry season than with some tasty baked treats. Luckily for us, agave kissed strawberry muffins don't have any added fat or refined sugar. Check them out. I know I will be. Then we have cinnamon coffee cake. If you're holding a big brunch at your home, the cinnamon streusel protein coffee cake uh, is a perfect alternative to store-bought coffee cake. An even healthier cake, forget the icing on top, the cake itself is moist, crumbly, and will satisfy your sweet tooth. Who doesn't like a moist cake? Next on the list, we have grapefruit brulee. A fruity and inventive dessert. Make your own grapefruit brulee. The process is so simple, all you need is a grapefruit, raw sugar, and an oven that can broil. I'm mildly intrigued, although it does seem to be served with a, now it's not a spork, it's a splate, a spoon with the edging, I'm pretty sure it's a splate. What else have we got? Avocado coconut popsicles. Even if you're not at the beach for Mother's Day, channel some tropical flavours in the sweet coconut, oh sorry, avocado coconut popsicles, a healthier alternative to a big bowl of ice cream. Now, so there's something else you can do if you're completely off sweet things, but you still have a little craving for a little something something. Uh, while I was on the seven day cabbage soup diet, one of the things I did obviously on banana day was freeze slices of bananas. I froze them for the entire day and then I just whizzed them up into a paste and they actually came out the consistency of ice cream even though it was pure banana. Of course it is an issue if you just don't like the flavour of bananas but because they were so cold I didn't get that overpowering banana flavour. It's just an option if you're trying to avoid um, 
and it's dairy um, and all the rest of it. Strawberry parfait with biscotti. Enjoy a vegan strawberry parfait made from whipped coconut cream. Complement this treat with crunchy almond biscotti. Actually, it was pretty good. Totally check out this website, it's amazing. Uh, we also have chickpea cookie dough. See, I think chickpeas and I think hummus. How do you turn hummus into cookie dough? Uh, well, apparently you can. For a protein and fiber filled dessert that is easy to put together, blend up a batch of chickpea cookie dough and served with sliced apples. It actually looks pretty good. Although they also have chocolate drops on their picture, which I'm pretty sure is not part of the protein bit, but when in Rome. Low fat red velvet cupcakes. A lot of people do like red velvet cupcakes or just cake. Anyway, uh, cut back dramatically on the sugar in traditional cupcakes with these red velvet cupcakes that use stevia and just one tablespoon or agave for sweetness. That actually sounds pretty good. I might give them a shot. Flourless chocolate cake, of course, for the gluten free people in our lives. An elegant serving of flourless chocolate cake brings only 96 calories to the table. Just make sure you have enough for everyone so every guest gets their own. Um, this is where you'd need to have those little pots, like the creme brulee pots, whatever they're called, I'm not entirely sure. Um, and that way you could just make a little one for everyone. Or you could make the entire batch for yourself. Um, I don't judge. I don't judge. Vegan brownie squares, dairy free and nutrient rich brownie squares will satisfy your sweet tooth but still keep your body ready for summer beach excursions. Still working on that. We'll get there. I think that's it. That's everything for that website. So, if any of those sounded good, of course they all sounded fabulous to me, so I will be chucking a link down in the description below. And of course there are many office uh, morning teas, afternoon teas, or even just a little cheeky dessert covered for quite some time with that. Hope you enjoy. So that's it from me for today. Thanks for joining me. Uh, if you like what you've seen, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new. If you just want to say hi, leave a comment below. And of course, if there's anything you'd like me to look into, uh, whether it's food, uh, diet plans, exercise regimes, um, anything you are curious about and you want to give a shot, but you're still not 100%, I'll give it a shot for you. Uh, just leave a comment in the descriptions below and I will look into it all. Now, of course, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Links are also in the description below. Uh, on Twitter, I just throw up anything I find useful, although I have not been as vigilant with that this week as I have been in the past, and I will get back onto that. Uh, Instagram, I do just throw up fun facts, photos, whatever, of me on my weight loss journey. Um, maybe it'll inspire something in you to who knows or you could just flick through it and laugh at me horrendously that's also an option but until next time be healthy and be good to each other bye <laughs> i really need to do something about this super squeaky chair it's not do it it really is the chair i swear <laughs> of course today is sunday mm. And today I'm also going to talk about something that I haven't decided on yet. Oh, no. Uh, ee, what was I trying to say? Bimbo! Uh. <laughs> so this week, that is a grand weight loss of absolutely bugger all. <laughs> So this week, that is a great, oh. <laughs> uh, a wink, link. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I talk? Google. Google knows everything. Enjoy a vegan. A vegan? 
<laughs> velvet cupcakes. Or just red velvet cake. Red velvet? Oh, my English is amazing. 